Hey, what's up, folks? You're watching Barbara's Auto Help, and today is all about the humble thermostat. I'm going to discuss in detail its theory and operation. I'm also going to do a visual demonstration of its operation, and then I'm going to dissect it and show you each individual part and discuss their operations. So, one of the purposes of the thermostat is to help the coolant reach its optimal temperature quickly and the way it does that is it stops the flow of coolant through that upper radiator hose that I just took off. Uh, when the coolant flow is stopped it allows the coolant that's inside the engine to heat up more quickly. Once the desi desired temperature is reached the thermostat then begins to open up. Temperature is determined by what the rating of the thermostat is. If it's a 180, it'll start to open up at 180. If it's a 190, it'll start to open up at 190. And usually it will come to its fully open position at about 10 degrees above what its rating is. Now the way it does that is this mechanism right here. This is what's called a heat motor. And on the inside there, you got a uh, cylinder with a piston in it and then there's wax at the bottom of that uh, piston. When the wax heats up, it will then push that piston up right there and it will force this valve downward. When that happens, there will be passage between the valve and the flange here where coolant can flow through and int be introduced into the radiator so that it can be cooled down. And I'll take it apart and I'll show you a little bit more in more detail later on how that happens. Now once the coolant starts to cool down a little bit, the thermostat will then start to slowly close. And then if it heats back up, it'll slowly open, cools down, it'll slowly close. And that's how it regulates the coolant temperature. Uh, engines operate at a very high temperature and they operate more efficiently at a very high temperature. And that's the whole reason you want to have a thermostat so that you can get to that temperature more quickly and so that the temperature can be regulated. Now let's go ahead and get to that demonstration I was telling you about. So let's apply a little heat to this thing and get it to operate for you so you can see what's going on. I'm going to put heat directly on the heat motor there. Alright, things are starting to open up. You can see there's a little bit of separation between that valve there and the flange. It's going to allow a little bit of coolant to go by. This is about 180 degrees roughly. It's allowing coolant to to slowly come by the thermostat. Let's heat it up a little bit more. Now we're near about fully open. You see there's a big area that the coolant can flow past uh, the, the valve and the flange here. And you can see what's going on is that piston is overcoming the force of that spring there and allowing that valve to open up a little bit. Now what will happen is as the coolant cools down the uh, heat motor will then start to contract, or the, the wax inside the heat motor will then start to contract and the spring will then push the valve back up to the flange and it will slow down the, the flow of coolant. I'm trying to keep it at that optimal temperature. So we'll go ahead and try to speed that process up a little bit. I'll dip it in some water here and we'll watch it close. You see that passage is closing. There we go, now it's shut. Now it's going to allow that coolant to heat back up and then the, the whole process will repeat itself and now for a little bit of fun I get to take it apart I'm just going to begin to saw it off right here All right, so we got it broke through just getting this out of the way here and there's our spring here's our valve and our heat motor on the other side of the housing there something to note Usually on the bottom of your heat motor will be the, uh, the rating of the thermostat, and this one's 195. So that's actually the temperature in which this starts to overcome the, uh, the spring force and opens this valve. It starts then, and then about 10 degrees later, it's going to be fully open. So this is that cylinder, and inside there there's a piston, and on the bottom here is a bunch of wax. And that wax, when it expands, pushes this little pintle up right here and that's what overcomes that spring. So I'm going to try to get into there and uh, and actually show you the inside of that heat motor. Cut along the side here just like that. This is actually kind of hard to do with just a hacksaw. Oh my goodness, I should have got my air tools. We're making progress. Alright, so we made it all the way across. Let's see here. See if we can get it apart. Yep. There's a bunch of wax in there. Yep. And 
Here's your piston. Let's see if I can push it out. Yep. <sighs> pull it out with my pliers here and this thing this is made out of rubber so, whoa come on <clears throat> that might be as far as I'm gonna be able to go fellas but uh, Anyway, there's all your wax there. That wax melts and it pushes your piston out. And that's what overcomes that spring and opens your uh, your valve there. So, there you go. So, yeah, I hope this uh, helps somebody. If you have any questions, please comment in the uh, comments below. Also, if you would, take a visit to my uh, channel and see if you like it. If you do, subscribe. Uh, give the video a like. You know, all that good stuff there. I, I should have a link on the screen that you can go to to uh, access my channel. As always, I, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope this helped. Thanks.